Good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live on May 2nd. It is the second day of my challenge group, and I want to make sure that you know that you can be part of that. If you are struggling, if you're wanting to be brought up, if you want to be elevated, if you want to be pushed, if you want somebody that you can join in with that will give you more than just uh, motivation, but actually talk to you and push you along the way, then join my group. All you have to go, all you have to do is go to joejustice.org slash join, and you can be part of, I've got the link right there, or shoot me an email, joe at joejustice.org, and I will add you to the group. This is a challenge group. Every Monday and Friday, we get together and we do a virtual workout online. You can be part of that, and you can join in with me. I'll send you a message every now and then, see how you're doing, encourage you to push along on those days that we're not together on our virtual workout. But I want you to be part of it. I want you to join in. I know you can. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the challenge group so far. So this morning, as I told you yesterday, the big thing that I was running into is the month of April was pretty rough schedule-wise, so I did pack on about 10 pounds. That's normal. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm taking the opportunity to use the challenge week and or, or the challenge month in order to drop that weight. So this morning I wake up and what happened? I went from 204 pounds yesterday to 200 pounds today. Now, here's the question. Did I really lose four pounds yesterday? And this kind of brings up a question that people will run into quite a bit when they're working on losing weight, when they're you know really trying hard to, to uh, improve their health, is how often should you check your weight? How much of that day-to-day -day weight check is real? Should you check your weight in the morning? Should you check your weight in the afternoon? Should you check your weight in the morning and put it in a spreadsheet and then check in the afternoon and then put that in a spreadsheet and then get a weighted average of all of them, see what your real, real weight is? Or should you get an app and then in the app, you put all this in and you do it three times a day? You don't need to do any of that stuff. Now, here's the thing. One thing that you do need to understand that's very important, and this applies to every part of life, what gets measured gets managed. There's no way around that. You have to measure. What you don't have to do is obsess over it, okay? So, did I lose four pounds yesterday? Not really. From day-to-day -day weight fluctuations, that can be water weight. That can just be, you know, maybe I didn't eat as much yesterday. Uh, I had a pretty good run yesterday. You know, it's probably mostly water. What you're really looking at overall when it comes to your weight loss is over time. So like over a month, over, a, uh, over the course of a week, you know, if you start out at 204 at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week you're down to 200, you're fine. But... If you start out, if you're 204 throughout the whole week, and then at the end of the week, you're down to 201, did you lose three pounds? Probably not. You should see some fluctuations in there. You should see, and, and some of that's going to be water weight. Some of that's just going to be what you, literally what you had to eat that day. I mean, you could literally have eaten, you know, a pound of food. So, you know, uh, you've got to keep all of that in mind and you have to know that you can't you don't want to beat yourself up okay you don't want to beat yourself up you don't you don't need to turn it you, you don't need to be you know like a weight accountant or something you don't need to be a bean counter and measuring every little ounce and everything at the end of the day nothing measures weight loss better than how well your clothes fit that's the biggest thing if and let me and, and this will really encourage you if you're in if you're serious about weight loss you got to get rid of those you, you got to get rid of those you know the yoga pants and the um and the sweatpants and stuff like that you know the kind of stuff that's nice and cozy and comfy because it's nice and stretchy get rid of those stretchy jeans those stretchy jeans they're lying to you they're feeding you lies you think that the wearing that stuff is comfortable and you think that it feels good and you're able to move and everything else. But as you wear that loose fitting stuff, what you'll, what you'll start to realize real quick is uh, what it's really doing is kind of hiding any kind of weight loss that you're trying to achieve. So that gets into, that explains the topic for today and that kind of breaks it all down for you. So how often should you weigh yourself I do believe you should weigh yourself once a day. Um, I think that that's a good practice to get into. 
Do it at, just do it in the morning. Do it at the same time every day because the other thing that you will notice if you want to toy around with the idea is if you weigh yourself in the morning, at noon, and just before bed, your weight will fluctuate two to three pounds depending on um, you know what's going on that day. So do go ahead and weigh yourself once a day at the same time every day, whether it's right before you go to bed or whether it's right after you roll out of bed. One or the other. Do weigh yourself every day. Do not beat yourself up for one, two pound fluctuations. If you get up to where I'm at right now, where I got up above 200 pounds and I've stayed that way for now over a week, that means it's time to start taking things a little bit more seriously and start um, start kind of pairing out, uh, pairing away some of those extra food uh, foods and stuff like that. And then if you want to really lose that last little bit of weight, then once you get into that, once you get into that dropping the last 10 pounds and getting into that really low body weight where you see abs and stuff like that, that's its own, that's its own world. That, that becomes, uh, you know, I mean, there's like bodybuilders have written books and courses and stuff on that kind of stuff that becomes very hard to manage. And that becomes more of a science than anything else. But most people aren't in that boat and you're not in that boat. And that's what, you know, that's the, those are the people that I'm talking to. If you're in that boat, if you're wanting to be a professional bodybuilder, if you're looking to, you know, get down to 2% body fat and get up on stage, obviously this isn't the podcast for you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about everyday people that are looking to improve their health esteem, improve their fitness, you know, fit comfortably in their clothes, uh, look good in their clothes, look fit, look trim. Those are the kind of people that I'm talking to. That's the kind of person that I am. I'm never going to be a professional bodybuilder. I'm never going to be up on stage. So I don't see any value in all of the, you know, calipers and, and water displacement measuring and all of the, the incredible techniques that they use to, to measure that last little bit of body fat, how much they have, how much they're losing day to day. I don't see a tremendous value in that. I, that doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just not the world that I live in. So how often should you weigh yourself? Once a day, write it down, keep track of it. It should progressively go down week to week. You should start losing a couple pounds here and there until you get into the, the, the range that you want to be into. And then make sure you wear clothes that fit well. Make sure you feel clothes that are not stretchy uh, or you wear clothes that are not stretchy. And doing all of those things will improve your uh, efforts quite a bit and you will get where you're wanting to get okay and if you want a little extra push again let me remind you that i am doing my may challenge month so if you want a little push if you're wanting an extra uh, workout buddy every mondays and fridays for the month of may i will be working out virtually on zoom and you can come join me so go to joejustice.org join sign up you will also get my uh my quick start program it's a really short little pdf that'll help you out it's a welcome kit it's got all kinds of little uh, uh, little tips and tricks that you can use to get started. So join in with me, joejustice.org slash join, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.